Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, if you don't already know. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a regular old cookie a little bit fancier by adding some chocolate and a bit of piping decoration. This is my favorite way to jazz up delicious cookies like basic chocolate chip or oatmeal. You can basically use this technique to decorate any of your favorite cookies. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Some cookies, of course. I'll show you how to prepare your cookies flat and round like this for decorating. Some tempered chocolate, compound chocolate, or candy melts in whatever colors and kind you like. Some parchment paper piping bags. Check out this video to see how I make them. Some parchment paper sheets. And if you want to add extra decor to the cookies, you might want some sprinkles, edible metallic powders, edible gold or silver leaf, or even some chopped chocolate, nuts, or fruit. So when I decorate cookies like this, I like them to be big and flat. So you want to weigh your cookies to be around six ounces each. Then when they come out of the oven, right away, you will flatten them with a bowl scraper and you can use a large cookie cutter to smooth the sides and make them perfectly round. And just a note, if you make larger cookies, be sure to cook them a little bit longer to make sure they're baked through. You'll know they're done when the top middle of the cookie is no longer shiny. Once your cookies are cool, you'll get your chocolate for dipping. Um, today, just for ease, I'm using white candy melt and compound dark chocolate. And I'm going to warm these in my favorite silicone cups. Remember to not use glass or you run the risk of burning your chocolate. I'm going to heat these for 30 seconds at a time, stirring in between until smooth. Okay, now I'm just going to move the chocolate into a deeper bowl and also so that you can see what I'm doing better. So I'm going to start with the white candy melts and usually I like to match the chocolate that I'm dipping the cookie in with the chocolate that's inside the cookie. So I'm going to do three of these with white and I'll do two with dark just to show you what they look like. But yeah, I like it when it matches because then the flavors are the same. So I'm just going to dip it about half and shake off the excess like this. And then I scrape the bottom so it's not too thick and just set it back on the parchment to set up. Um, you can give the chocolate a little shake to smooth out the top surface so you get a clean line. And this time it doesn't look quite like half so I'm going to try to dip it a little deeper. You can do that by tilting the bowl to get a deeper chocolate and also tilting the cookie sideways will also help it go a little bit further. Shake off the extra. And scrape it just like that. Now, if there's some you want to add sprinkles, you want to do that now. This one I'll show you a different design with nothing. This one I'm going to add some chopped cranberries, which is great because that's what's inside of the cookie. So it's kind of shows what what flavor it is, which I think is great. Okay. And the next one I'll add sprinkles, so I'll get those ready. So you can just add some along the border like this. You can do them even or just kind of drop them down like I'm doing. Then 
then leave them to dry. Now I'll do some dark. You just do it the exact same way. This time I'll show you some white sprinkles. So to finish a plain cookie like this one, it looks nice to use a contrasting color. So I'm using dark chocolate and you can add a border like this to finish off where that edge is dipped. And then it's fun to add um, a long piping pattern. So you can pick one of your favorites. Um, I'll use one of my favorites, which goes like this. that's just kind of a simple nice design on the other plain cookie the chocolate one it can also look nice to use the same color chocolate because it adds depth and once it's dry we can dust it with some metallic so add a nice clean edge and then you don't have to pipe a fancy piping pattern you can just keep it simple and do a really thin nice looking drizzle like that and it still looks great for this one with the cranberries I want to add another fun piping design underneath and just trying to decide which one I think I'll go with this one And I have a video on these piping patterns and some practice sheets if you want to learn how and practice them. They're so fun. I love, I love piping these patterns. Oh, we can also do a white piping pattern here. Um, this one would also look good with a drizzle, but just for fun, I'll do another piping pattern. Start with the same swoops. We can do some white on white. And for this, let's just try a, a nice white drizzle. If you want, you can also drizzle on the cookie. I kind of like it to be separate, but you can just play around and have fun coming up with designs. Now to finish this one off, I think that um, Adding a little metallic to it will highlight the texture and make it look finished. Then I think this one would look nice with a little bit of silver leaf. So we'll just add a bit here, like this. Maybe a little bit up here on the cookie. And you can tap it smooth like this and brush some off or you can leave it kind of 3D like this. All right, guys, that's today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If you did, you know what to do. 
leave me a like and a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.